Hey guys, I'm LB, and we are back to replay Horologium 5, because Ace Tier 16 has fixed it for us. The you gotten linked to my, my playthrough where I broke it? I don't know why you're linking to the one where I broke it, but, uh, sure. <laughs> Fix LB's exploit, alright, well. Replay it we shall. There is a solution video, so we can look at that if need be, because, as I said, I basically had no idea what else I would need to do, <laughs> if not, if not that. Right, so. Let's take a look again here. Right, so we need to do that again. And I don't remember what this does. Is that the flip panel? I think that's the flip panel, right? Yeah. Yep, that's the flip panel. So my clone stands on the flip panel, and then... Right, then the clone shoots portals here and there. Right, my mouse is moving all kinds of weird today. I don't know why that is. But anyway, let's see here. That should be reasonably sufficient. I believe. Alright, stop recording. Let's head back over here. And let's press play. There we go. Alright, I need to stand on the button first. There we go. That seems to have worked. So now... We just, uh, record ourselves standing on this button so we can get the cube out of there. That should be sufficient. Let's head over to Frost, and press play. Thank you. Right, so. Now we can set this up. Like so. And I'm not actually sure what to do now. Because we need the cube over here, at the exit, because we need... We need the cube there, right? Yeah. I wonder what Aceus did to fix the exploit, exactly. Just made that angle steeper, perhaps? Maybe. Hmm. There's also that to consider. Why is the music doing that? That's weird. I think the loop must be wrong in the music. <laughs> hmm. Yes, yeah, so we could do that much. What happens if a clone carries stuff through portals that don't exist? I don't actually know. That's a good question, isn't it? Uh, hmm. I wanna know that, uh, I wanna know the answer to that now. Let's, let's see if we can figure this out. So let's move this out of the way first of all. And... Record. Stop recording. And let's- let's just, uh... So let's put this back, and I wanna see what happens here. There goes the music looping on itself again. What's gonna happen? <laughs> That's kinda what I thought would happen, that is pretty much exactly what I expected. <laughs> Makes no sense, but, uh... Sure, that's what happens. So. Maybe that's all I need. I don't know. <laughs> so let's see here... We can do that. Oh, I needed to end the recording with the clone standing on the button. And that would work. I think that would work. I might have broken it again, I don't know, but that's- that's what we're gonna go with for now. 
Alright, so first of all, let me move this out of the way, because we gotta do this as if the clone isn't here. I mean, as if the cube isn't there. So let's see here. Start recording, give myself a little bit of time, then we shoot the portal. Pick this up, walk through here, drop it, walk back, stand on the button. And after we've stood here for a while, I think we should be good to stop. There we go. Now we need to align this in position. Save the game, and hope that the game doesn't crash when we hit save. <laughs> and, uh... Yeah, let's do this. I guess technically the clone could shoot the portal there if it wanted to. Yeah. I think it technically could. Like, if I just hadn't had my portal there, it would've worked just fine, so... Technically, not actually broken? Yeah, that would've worked, actually, I think. I'll just try that one more- oh, no. Right, okay. Stop the playback. Let's try this one more time, because I think I have it all set up as I need it to be. I just need to do it a little bit faster. So let's see here. Begin playback. Yeah, this doesn't even use any bugs. Excellent. Alright. Well, guys, as always, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it, and I'll see you all in another video. Goodbye!